So, Claire, let, let me go to you and, and kind of where the Haley campaign would be coming at this from tonight. I mean, there's lots of things that could happen. Things happen that are surprising. We were just talking about how Hillary Clinton was behind by several points. She ended up winning by a couple points. Uh, we all remember that well back in 2008. But you have to, in a, within a campaign, as we all know, you're kind of mapping out different options, right? You're mapping out, we lose by 15, what do we do? We lose by 10, what do we do? We win, what do we do? That's pretty clear. You stay in the race. What do you think those conversations are, are like in the Haley campaign right now, Claire? Well, if she does a decent job tonight, and by that I mean if she loses by less than 10, then her money will keep flowing. So this really is a decision as to whether or not she can survive much longer and whether it makes any sense for her and her family and her donors and being embarrassed in her own state. But, I, I mean, I agree with what John just said, but I would look at it a little differently. I think there's two Republican parties right now. Donald Trump is the new Republican Party. And he is going to consolidate the base of the new Republican Party. And I think that's probably 60 to 70 percent of the people who call themselves Republicans. But there's another 25 or 30 percent, and that's the Nikki Haley Party. And those are people, many of whom have said clearly they will never vote for Donald Trump. Those are the voters that Joe Biden needs to be looking at. He needs to find them, find the Haley voters tonight in New Hampshire and model his campaign, because for him to win in November, he's got to grab all the old Republican Party that is still with Nikki Haley from the new Republican Party that is all Donald Trump and MAGA and all of the things that so many of us find repugnant. So it is time for the Biden campaign to begin focusing not just on getting the base where they need to be, and I'm confident they will, but really working on those voters that used to call themselves Republican but don't anymore. Claire, the RNC is out with a statement that says, quote, the Republican primary is up to the voters, and we've never had a Republican nominee who did not win at least Iowa or New Hampshire. If President Trump comes out strong tonight, that's a clear message being sent from our primary voters. Another message we're hearing is unity from President Trump, Governor DeSantis, and Senator Scott. Republicans know that if we're not united as a party behind our nominee, we won't be able to beat Biden. That's why we had our candidates sign the Beat Biden Pledge to be on our debate stage, unity is key. I didn't realize it was that long, but the point is they're basically saying Trump is the presumptive nominee. I mean, Nikki Haley is up against that. We've seen that come from the party uh, committee chair chairman. We've seen a number of surrogates here in state. What do you do with that if you're if you're Nikki Haley in the Haley campaign? Well, you ignore it because, frankly, not very many voters care much about care. what. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what the RNC says. Um, I, I think you ignore it. You know, th those are all the party hacks. Yes, of course. Therefore, Donald Trump. He controls the party. He controls the money. I'm out here fighting uh, for the values that that you care about, not the values necessarily of Donald Trump. Now, she started too late going after him. She thought she could beat him mm. by just kind of hanging around. But keep in mind, those people who dropped out so far, only Chris Christie was in her party. The Ramaswamy and, and DeSantis were just mini-me's of Trump. They were clearly in the Trump party, not the Nikki Haley party. So um, the RNC is the Trump party, and that's where they're going to be, and they're going to put out things like that. But frankly, I'm not aware of anybody in America who cares what either the Democratic National Committee or the Republican National Committee say. <laughs> I know. The, nobody's pressing refresh on their websites, it turns out. Yeah. Uh,